Hi there. I have a writing lesson for you today. For the writing lesson today, I am going to focus on narrative writing. If you remember, a narrative is a made up or a real story. In narrative writing, writers tell a story about one or more events. They also include characters, settings, and the feelings of those characters. In a previous video, I did a brainstorm to narrative writing. The topic that I chose to write about for the brainstorm I did previously was Hurricane Florence. The characters are myself and my boyfriend. The feelings are scared, worried, and anxious. The setting is the coast of North Carolina, as well as my house. And then as far as actions, I did list some of the preparation or things we did to prepare and be safe. And then how we handled the hurricane when it actually came our way. Because this is a brainstorm, I did not write incomplete sentences and I may have made some mistakes. Today, I am going to transfer my thoughts from my brainstorm onto a rough draft. I'm going to put narrative writing rough draft at the top. Narrative writing rough draft. In the beginning of narrative writing, the writers introduce the characters and the feelings. I am going to fold this piece of paper so that everyone can see. I am going to start my narrative writing by introducing the characters and then introduce the setting as well. The setting is on the other side of the paper. Characters and setting first. My first sentence reads, my boyfriend and I live along the coast of North Carolina in a house. As a writer, I want to make sure to begin my narrative writing by introducing the characters, which I did. I'm going to put a check mark here and introduce the setting, which I also did. I'm also going to put a check mark here to let myself know that I have taken the information from this bubble and wrote it on my rough draft. Now, in the middle of my rough draft, or after the beginning of the rough draft, I can start to talk about the feelings and actions that took place during Hurricane Florence, which is my topic. The feelings are listed here, scared, worried, and anxious, and the actions are listed there.
sentence I just added reads, with Hurricane Florence coming our way, we were feeling scared, worried, and anxious. So again, in the middle of my narrative writing, I talked about the feelings, and now I want to talk about the actions of the characters. The two sentences I added were, in order to prepare and stay safe, we stocked up on groceries, food, gas, ice, and batteries. Once we had these items, we waited the hurricane out by staying inside. I have now shared the setting, the actions, the characters and the feelings from the brainstorm, and I have transferred them to my rough draft. Now, I have a beginning of my narrative writing that introduces the setting and the characters. I have a middle of my narrative writing that talks about the feelings and actions. And last but not least, I do need an ending that wraps up my writing and makes sense. My final sentence reads, my boyfriend and I were lucky to stay safe during Hurricane Florence and were glad when it was all over. To review, in this video, I took the information from my narrative brainstorm and I put it into my narrative rough draft. This is just a review of narrative writing, and we are going to work with other types of writing in future videos. Thank you for watching.